I don't really like sitting down at a desk writing all day. I've got to be out there working, taking things apart, putting them back together, finding you have a few screws left, o left over and figuring out where they go. And GT just was so helpful. They, they weren't just saying, you go to the company. They were saying, come to us and then we'll help you find the company. We'll send it to everyone rather than just a few others. And then in your interview, they'd ask which companies you prefer to be top of the list to send to. And I think that was the main aspect that I liked about them is they were kind of thinking about you, not their own figures of getting more apprentices in. I'm now in my second year of being at the training centre, so I did a first year of f um, five days a week training at GT, and it was brilliant to start off with and stayed brilliant throughout the whole year. You get that freedom to learn, and you they encourage you to try new things and do independent learning but then also working together towards a project or towards improving the facility. Luckily I'm able to stay within GT's walls doing a day release in my second year so I still see the facility and go say to my friends, oh do you remember when we did such and such on that day and kind of the memories stay with you. Yes I think I would recommend an apprenticeship scheme because it's a really good way to, if you even if you're young or if you're a bit older, you still get all that knowledge of other people instead of going to college and going to university, then trying to find a job, you, you're almost straight into the company, you get to know the company and then you get training that's paid for, so you don't have to pay tuition fees to get it done. You, your company pays for it, you, you get paid at the same time and you get all this knowledge from an engineering base, especially in Gloucestershire, which is so big that it's unbelievable how much help and how willing other people are to encourage you to learn.